Hey everyone, welcome to Software Testing Mentor and RCV Academy. And today I'm very excited to announce another very important tutorial series on Cypress Web Automation. So this series will be complete comprehensive course. It's not just a set of tutorials, but a complete course end to end for the web automation or the UI automation using Cypress. Now Cypress is very popular tool and has been there in the market for a while and it is very popular the reason being that it has overcome a lot of challenges that we used to face in selenium with java or selenium bindings right selenium with python so selenium architecture and cypress architecture is absolutely different and there were a lot of shortcomings that we see with selenium right so there are challenges uh, with the weight etc that has been resolved and cypress is basically helping you to automate the modern web application right so as you can see i'm on the cypress.io which is their official website and what the claim is basically that with cypress you can easily create tests for your modern web application debug them visually and automatically run them into your continuous integration builds right now this is absolutely uh, true based on what I have worked with Cypress uh, till now and whatever exploration I have done with Cypress if we go ahead and see the challenges there are always shortcomings in every tool right so there will be some positive and some negatives in every tool that is there out there in the market but then you have to decide which one suits best for your project context and then get started right so the context here is to learn cypress so that you can easily understand why you need to cypress in case you have a particular scenario or use case in your project and you are just doing web web automation then you can analyze which tool suits best best so let's see what exactly cypress is okay and if we go to the uh, the documentation here or go to the pro products here you will see that we have the cypress app okay which is basically what we'll be learning which is test the modern application with open source the first thing is that it's open source you don't have to pay anything for it and then we have the cypress cloud which is scale your testing with the total confidence and this is mostly you know a paid application the cypress cloud is the paid uh, product from the cypress so if you see here you will see that we have the uh, pricing and you can create a free account you can analyze that and i'll cover that as well but then you can see the pricing of the cloud version as well so there will be some free tier and then there will be the team so basically free tier you'll see that how many users how many tests are etc are included but then it will be very limited okay so we'll go ahead with the cypress app now if you go to the documentation let's see what exactly the cypress or or just on this page what exactly the cypress is now cypress is totally um uh, built or it's a javascript it supports only javascript and typescript which is typescript is nothing but the um it's a strongly typed version of the javascript so you can say that cypress supports a javascript and you will be able to do a lot of things that we used to or basically mostly everything that we used to do in selenium okay now what exactly you'll see that we have options for so we can say write run and debug so test modern apps directly in the browser okay and then we can write the passing test in minute which we'll understand in just a couple of videos we'll be up and running with the cypress environment and we'll be done with our first test case right we can directly debug the uh, failures in the browser uh, it eliminates the flaky test cases with ease integrates with continuous integration server any of it and then you'll see that there are a lot of claims around the productivity etc right so if you go to the documentation you will see some of the features um, that are provided here okay so you will see that we have some of the features the key features here so cypress comes fully baked okay everything included now the biggest challenge in selenium that i found is that when you are setting up the selenium framework you have to basically pick and choose everything you know what what testing framework that you are using um and then what reporting engine you have to use you have to create all the libraries but this this particular tool will have everything included right so uh, the testing framework uh, the reporting engine the screenshot capabilities everything is there built in right then you can you know time travel you can basically check the snapshot of what happened in each step within cypress you eat debuggability is easy uh, there is automatic weighting in selenium we have to put you know explicit weight or different weight techniques that are available in selenium in cypress you have the automatic weighting capability within cypress you 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 can do the uh, stubs 
etc within cypress you can have a network traffic control okay uh, and screenshot videos consistent result cross browser testing is available right so you can test on any different browsers that are out there in the market the popular one right then flake detection is another very good feature right so basically when you say if there are flaky test cases it is very difficult to detect with uh, selenium right the, so with selenium we have seen flaky test cases all the time and uh, it, it becomes really challenging when the test case is failing why it is failing why locator is not able to uh, being identified so all of those challenges that we used to face within selenium has been addressed uh, most of them have been addressed uh, within cypress so these are some of the key features now if we let's go back to the home page okay and here we are on the end-to-end -end testing and if we simply check here so we have the easy installation guided setup pre-double tests right all of these are very good features that you will get right you'll understand and as i move along it will be really easy to understand then you have the recording click and record so basically you you can use cypress studio to generate test as you click and record each interaction which is a not i mean we'll be covering it but let's see how the recorded test will look like and then you can basically update those tests accordingly then we have the all-in-one framework this is the most important thing that differentiates cypress with selenium selenium you have to build your reporting engine you have to build the assertions library right you have to integrate some assertion library you have to then have the screenshot and video capability you have some library to capture that screenshot or videos but in cypress you have all in one framework this is complete framework that you just go ahead and install and get started you will get your screenshots and reports available you have the assertions library built in and it is a javascript testing frame so you can write your test cases within cypress only using javascript right or typescript so typescript is uh, nothing but an extension you can say over the job javascript it's kind of a wrapper on javascript so mainly you can say that you can write your test cases within with javascript uh, in cypress okay so now let's quickly go ahead in the next video and understand what all are the architectural changes that differentiate cypress from selenium okay so i won't be going through any of the slides as such i'll minimize the usage of the slide in this particular whole series so that we are more into hands-on doing the real work setting up the framework going ahead with the test cases and quickly in just three four videos we are up and uh, we are up and running with our first test case within cypress okay so in the next video let's understand the cypress architecture and how it is different from the selenium so that's all for this particular video i'm very excited to start this series so if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead subscribe so you do not miss any of the notification for the full course videos that will be coming along so go ahead hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the tutorials that are in this particular series this series is a comp comprehensive course so once you complete this series you will be able to definitely implement cypress automation framework in your real-time projects i can assure you that so that's all for this video thank you very much for watching